Okay, it's almost 1 p.m. So let's start my talk. Guten Tag, ich bin Josh. This is the only German I, I learned from Douglas Mail. So, okay, my name is Josh. I'm from Taiwan Open Source Community, and uh, some of you might know Sakana Max or AIO. Uh, thanks to them to inviting me to the community. So, there are lots of fun learning new things together in the community. And I work at We Strong, uh, which is a company that becoming like HP or Dell to manufacturing their laptop or server. So let's see here, there are 90% of server and 80% of desktop and notebook are manufacturing from Taiwan. So basically what I do for a living is to ensure those products are listed on every HCL on the, which is user wanted. So, Ever since I joined the community, I've been thinking what I can do to contribute to the community with my knowledge, since I'm not a good programmer. Is, is the sound okay? And uh, I found open source HCL might be something that I can help. So today I'm going to talk, uh, I'm going to take 30 minutes to talk about open source HCL. What is it? Why does it matter? And the people, Propose some ideas that might improve the open source HCL. Okay. So this is the outline today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to explain what is HCL and why we need it, and then we'll look at the current open source HCL and think what the challenge might, we might have. And finally, I'll list some ideas that might improve the open source HCL and keep it updated. So, what is HCL? Here I want to do a quick survey, and uh, how many of you have heard about HCL? Please raise your hand. Okay, great, I see your hands, and uh, for those who doesn't raise your hand, hope this talk will give you some ideas about HCL, and uh, for those who you raise your hands, I hope we can discuss some HCL uh, things during a conference, yeah. Okay. The HCL is actually mean, actually stand for hardware compatibility list. It provides user or buyer a reference hardware support list of the operating system. So they can be sure that the hardware they have or they are going to purchase is going to work with the operating system perfectly. So for some, I, I know the you, you people are very good at Linux, but some people in Asia, like my mom, they don't know, they actually don't know Linux at all. So if they want to use Linux and uh, they are going to buy a hardware like a laptop or desktop, and how can they choose what desktop or laptop is going to work? So this is what I sell uh, matter. Yeah. So almost every operating system have their own HCL. So Today I'm focusing on Linux SEO, so we could have some ideas about the factor that might affect people willing to update SEO and uh, the pros and cons of each SEO design. So I'll go through some SEO website. So I'll start with commercial distro like Red Hat, Susa, and Ubuntu. So first we can see uh, it's Red Hat and uh, actually, I can go to the website. Okay, so this is Red Hat uh, Excel website, and uh, we can check. They are uh, in categories to list their Excel, and first we can see the server. Okay, we can see like row seven. row 7. Okay, you can see there are lots of models in the list and uh, we can readily pick one of them. And now we can see in the page, you can see the model name and uh, the, uh, the company name and the compatible OS version. But what else are missing in this page? Do you have any idea? T 
to me, the big, biggest problem I see is the lack of the detailed hardware information. So we don't know what exactly the the, com the network card is, is compatible and also like storage they are compatible. So if my model is is exactly as this one, but if I switch the network back adapter, is it still compatible? That that's what, what I don't know. But actually, uh, I'm my job is to put the product on this list. So actually, we're doing a lot of things beyond this table. But I don't know why they didn't show the details. So, but I I think the details matter. Okay, the second one I want to look at the laptop. So, the other problem I saw is the laptop is very only few numbers in this list. So it's hard for uh, end users to reference this list because there are only few numbers. Yeah. Okay. So. So. I in case the internet is not good, so I screenshot of them. But I think the really see the websites better. Then we can see Suzer. Suzer is also this uh, lots of server models, and uh, unlike Red Hat, they actually list uh, detailed hardware information for users, so you can reference it uh, directly. So if you your model is not listed, but you can actually check your components on this list. Like you, you have the same CPU, you also have the same network adapter, then you, you still, it's still value to you. But like Red Hat, the same problem is the, the, the client uh, desktop like or laptop is very few. So it's only have 38 models for uh, less 15. Yeah, so it's very few. Okay, so we, we jump to Ubuntu. We want to actually have lots of laptop and desktop on the list, but and it also provides the detailed hardware information. But the problem is, um, it has to join a membership program before you can post your products on the list, which is normal, like every commercial district did it. But the Ubuntu uh, member fee is relatively high, so not every company can join this program. So. Like our company, they we, we didn't have the program to put this on it. Okay. So about is the commercial distro. So I here I summary how to achieve all this. First of all, they all have a great ecosystem that include all the hardware vendors and the OEM, ODM, HV, ISV. So work together to to put to make this list. And uh, the second one is they also provide a test suite. So they have an automation tool for you to run the test and make sure the hardware is compatible. So the third one is they also provide lots of document. And the fourth one is to review, have a review process. So they review uh, if all the test instances are passed and uh, there are no, there is no proprietary drivers in your system, like, yeah. And also, of course, the website. Okay, so now we are seeing the community distros. So I have this some famous uh, distros here, and we are going to go through all this and see the pros and cons. So first of all, I want to see the Arc Linux. Arc Linux, uh, they show uh, a lot of uh, hardware uh, troubleshooting uh, information in the main page, which is very good for users to uh, troubleshooting their problems with hardware. And uh, we can see the XCL that are listed. It, it, this is a wiki best XCL. So, uh, do you, does anyone see any problems here for a XCL for a user to reference? Any ideas? Okay, to me, 
I think the the biggest problem I saw is this OK here and the N I here. Actually, um, it's kind of confused to me because I don't know what OK actually mean. Like a network card, we don't know is it speed OK or is a link OK. So I don't know what it exactly means. And it didn't provide a standard procedure to test your hardware. So if I want to update my models in this list, I don't know if my model is actually OK because different people have different opinion. Yeah. And the, the second problem I see is there are some people list their component name here, but some people don't. So I think in order to that people can easily reference your model, I think the component detail is very important. So if you have tested your model, I think it's better if you can also provide your uh, hardware details. So yeah. Okay, the, the, second, uh, the second part is, I think the update is not very actively. I think it, it's okay because like 2000, uh, 2018 we still have three updates, but I think there are more updates here. So we could actually think a way to include more people to update this. SEO list. Yeah. Okay, this is Arc Linux. And then we see Debian. Debian is using their own database to re recall the device that compatible with, with, with De Debian. I think it's a smart way to ask people to copy the result of LSPCI into a column and give user an idea what if their component are compatible or not. So here is actually my my desktop back at Taiwan and uh, I I use LSPCI to put my device info here and uh, click check. So it will tell you what component is compatible and why is not. And uh, you might be wondering how to like, determine is whether your components work or not. Uh, this work column is basic on uh, user input. So if I check my component is okay, then, then it will tell you it's okay. So you can also input, if you, you uh, found out like your chipset driver is fine, you can, you can feedback to them. Okay, I think the plus side of this method is that everyone can precisely understand if their hardware is working properly in device level. But the downside of the method is obviously you need to buy the computer first and when you when it tells you not working, it's probably too late. So yeah, because it didn't provide a system level compatibility view for user to reference reference. Yeah, like a model name or something. Then we can see Fedora. Fedora was used uh, wiki based SEO like Arc Linux and also open source XCL. And uh, but they decided to archive it after 2016 because the SEO was not being actively updated for a while. And they told users to reference Red Hat SEO. But as we saw earlier, it's not easy to reference, especially for desktop or laptop. And then we can see CentOS. CentOS doesn't have SEO. They told users to reference Red Hat SEO directly. Since CentOS is built from the same source code, it's, recent, it's reasonable to reference Red Hat's SEO. Yeah. <coughs> so, <coughs> so here has a quick summary. How do community distros deal with SEO? I think they can divide it into four, uh, four types. So first one is we keep as SEO is very common and uh, also open source is you adapt this method. And the second one is 
like uh, what Debian do is device uh, driver check repo database. And third one is to reference other existing database like CentOS did. And the, the fourth one is not provide so at all like elementary OS or some <coughs> distros didn't provide zero. <coughs> so let's look at open source still. <coughs> uh, I've screenshot the open source still so you can see. Uh, maybe I can already go to the website. <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> so you can see the categories here, and uh, let me <coughs> click one of them. Okay, so you can choose the brand you have. Uh, for example, my desktop is Azure, so I, I could be Azure. So you can see the patch here. It's very like uh, Arch Linux did, and it use check mark to uh, tells you whether it's compatible or not. But I think the problem is same as Arch Linux because we don't know actually don't know the check mark mean. Like actually, I tried to put my records on this HCL, and uh, this one is my. It's confused me to see whether the video card is working and whether my network card is working because they are making a precisely procedure to do the task. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so I think the problem is uh, we need a, a, a precisely procedure to test these uh, components and. Uh, also, the, the, the format is not uh, consistent because <coughs> some people put the check mark and some people list the component information. Yeah. And if we see the history, uh, this is me, I'm Josh. Before me, it's 2011, so not many people are maintaining this list. Uh, okay, now we are roughly know the problem might be, so I summary the problems. I think the number one is data could easily be outdated if no one is maintaining the data. And the second one is there are a lot of inconsistent information because we don't have the actual guideline to guiding people how to uh, update this list. And the third one is a lack of specific validation process. Uh, like we don't know <coughs> how to test our components. <coughs> and the fourth is lack of detailed hardware information. And uh, the final one I think uh, it's not everyone know how to edit wiki patch because when I did first, I, I did some research on how to update a wiki list. So if you have model and you have the passion to update it, then you will, uh, you might eventually that not want to update because wiki, the, the format is not you are familiar with. Okay, so I want to rethinking open source SEO. I've been talking to several people back in Taiwan about the challenges I found, and it, it's interesting to me to rethink the open source SEO and how can we solve those challenges. So here I borrow Simon Snake's uh, Golden Circle. For those who not heard about him, he's a writer and also one of the most inspired speaker and tech. So he believe people will be convinced in is because why you are doing it, the motivation behind the actions. So I start with why. Why we want to provide an HCO for users? What's the purpose? So I think why we are doing it is because people should know if their hardware could work with open source before they use it. So 
In order to do that, we will provide a HCL for them. And the things we are currently doing is to check the HCL first before you buy the hardware. And second, if you if you buy the hardware and your hardware is actually work, input your workable model on open source HCL wiki patch. So this is what we're doing now. So but we solve problems. So there are three ideas came out with uh, after I discussed with several people back in Taiwan. So these ideas is not tested. Might seems not practical, but I think they are worthy to discuss. So I'll explain each of them in following slide. So first one is idea A is to create a SEL program. The cornerstone of the idea is to invite hardware vendors or users to test their hardware. The obviously advantage is no one should be the guinea pig to buy the first hardware without knowing its work or not. So let us hardware vendor do it while they are making. So because my, my job is uh, in a hardware vendor, so I think we have lots of hardware can do it. Uh, if we have a, a hardware program to guide them how to do it. So there are several things we should do to start our SEO program. So uh, the things like provide a simple guideline to test hardware and uh, a simple test tool to test hardware and uh, create a log collecting process and find a way to review logs automatically because we, we, are, we, we don't have much people to review log manually. And the post result to SCL. Yeah. So the second idea is test at first sight. The idea is to invite users to test their hardware while the first time log in. So the steps are like following. So uh, when you log in first time, it pop a welcome wizard that inviting user to test their hardware. And uh, it only tests major components like graphic, like network audio. And uh, it should be finished in a couple minutes because user don't have much passion to actually test too long. And third one is that user decide they want to post the result to SEO. And for this, to mark different levels on the website if <coughs> we report a certain number like like a uh, same model have reporting like 100 times you mark a thumb or something like that <coughs> and idea C I think is, is more easy to do it is provide a guide for wiki HCL so we provide specific steps to guiding users, test the hardware properly, and provide results in a standard format. So we guide users how to test their hardware properly. There are several test tools can help users to with, do, do with that. And suggesting users to improve data by standard process, like where you can get the model name, where you can get the component name. And third one is encourage more people to add the hardware models on the list. Okay, so all three ideas are talking about testing the hardware, and uh, I want to introduce four open source test frameworks so we could have an idea how it works. So I'm not sure if you have heard about this tool, hardware plot. Uh, does anyone hear the tool before? Okay, no. Uh, here I have a quick demo. It uses Flatpak to run the, the do the hardware prop. And it's actually very fast. It only takes a few seconds for users to detect their hardware information. And it will give you a add you UI alone and uh, it will tell you post on the website and what's your model and uh, did your component work or not. And uh, uh, 
you might wondering how, how it determines whether it's work or not. It's sim similar like Debian did. It's a, a user feedback database. And uh, in the end, it will put some uh, information here so you can know the details of the hardware. Okay. So actually, I think it's a, a, a good way to prop your hardware. Okay, the second one is about avocado test framework. It's, I think it's initialed from Red Hat and it's a framework to test. It's basic on Python. And I think the test script is very easy to read. So you can test your hardware by the Python CLI and uh, it will give you some feedback like this. Uh, this is a perf test, so it will show uh, how many pace and how many fail. So I think it's an idea so we can test the hardware in a more structured way. Okay, the third one is Linux test uh, program. It's a very old program. It's based on C, pro C language. And the test cases are very large. Uh, I, I believe it has uh, 1,800 test cases to test your Linux kernel. So this is one way. And finally, is a Veronix test suite. It's also open source. And I think it's interesting because the view of this test suite is based on uh, the benchmark. So the test. So in the end of this test, it will give you a benchmark, uh, ben benchmark number and it will compare with other models. How's your CPU is working? Is your CPU better than other hardware models? So I think it's interesting. And in the end, it will post on the website so people can reference your, your hardware models. Okay, so those are the three ideas I can I think we we should we might have the chance to do it to actually uh, fit the purpose. Okay, that's all. Questions. So do you have an idea on how many of password incompatibilities are related to the kernel and versus other packages? Because I would imagine that most of this is related to the kernel because it's about half of it, right? This is uh, do you mean the package? So if, if hardware is not working, how yeah. often is it the case that the kernel is at fault? That something in the kernel is wrong? Uh, is this something totally different? You mean the the hardware doesn't list on the list? Oh, if, if, if the system doesn't even boot up, or if, the, if this test seems to yeah. find an issue or something? Yeah. I would imagine, or my assumption is that most of them, if the, if the component that the fault is from, is this right? I think it's mostly okay. If if I actually test those those hardware, I think mostly it's, it's, it will be okay. But I think. We should let people know your hardware is okay. And if not, I think the, the issue should be reported to the hardware vendor before they actually sell the, the product. Just let answer your question. Never mind. It's okay. okay, maybe we can discuss, discuss it later. It. Yeah. So, any other questions? Okay, thank you all.